guys, it's Katie with Kansas Hydrographics. We're going to show you our silver bandana pattern today. Um, it is a full meter wide. Uh, sorry, I'm having some technical issues here. Um, it is, I believe, identical to the rest of our bandana patterns. This one's just silver, um, and that's kind of hard to see there on the screen. But you'll be able to see it because we're going to dip it to a, a black speed shape. Hopefully this turns out. Uh, this is our last video of today. We've done quite a few, and I'm getting kind of sloppy. I cut my piece too large, and as you can see, it stuck to my divider there. So uh, we'll see. And I've got some residue from the last film down there. Forgot to set my timer. So, this is anybody's guess to see how this will turn out. Shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. But I want to get to it quick because it's not damned off. Holy moly. way for you. Uh, that does print really nice. That is um, a, a little bit larger than the actual print because as you could see I did not have that dammed off so um, it's going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter than that if you get it in the water and dam it off properly. But I'm sure all of you experience the same uh, we're out, it's Friday afternoon, I'm ready to go home, and that was our last video, so hopefully it still gives you a good idea. That does print really well. Um, it looks great on black. Uh, any color, I mean, it would even show up on white if you wanted uh, to use a white base coat too, but we wanted to show you how uh, metallic-y it really is. So that's a great pattern, prints well. Uh, that's gonna be in the miscellaneous section with the rest of our bandana patterns. Um, thank you guys for watching. Forgive me for my errors. Uh, hopefully you guys still got a good idea of that pattern, what it, uh, what it looks like and how it behaves. So um, anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you guys next time.